todos y bienvenidos a otra capítulo de Arte con Kelly. Um, um, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Art with Kelly and I have a special guest today. This is Diconisa Nauman and we are both serving as missionaries um, in the Latin American area. I am a temporary and I guess you are... I'm a career missionary. Yes, yes. So this is kind of my first experience. She's a bit more uh, experienced <laughs> than I have. So um, she's commissioned me to do a special painting for the Mercy Center in Palma Arriba, which is out there. Um, so Cheryl, what gave you the idea to do a painting for the Mercy Center? Well, uh, as a director of the Mercy Center, it's my job to make sure that we have education and opportunities and a variety of things that uh, display and uh, model the love of Christ for people, especially in the areas of human care. And uh, that is normally in close proximity to word and sacrament ministry provided by our uh, pastors and our mission congregations. One of the things that we noticed in our region is that a lot of the artwork, uh, if there is religious artwork, shows Jesus as a very vulnerable baby. So we've got him as the baby in a manger, or we have him as Jesus dying on the cross, or we have the dead Jesus being brought off the cross as in the Pieta into the arms of uh, his mother Mary. And so um, in a culture where um, people don't know a lot of the Bible stories and um, they don't read necessarily, uh, they make the false conclusion that Jesus is weak and he needs somebody else to help him to provide salvation. For example, the saints or Mary or maybe even our ancestors. So uh, we thought it would be a good idea to have uh, some more artwork showing Jesus as a strong man that he was, uh, both God and man, and uh, wel welcoming the people that definitely look like uh, they live in Latin America. Very good. Um, so here we have this painting. It's just the underdrawing right now. I have it gridded. There's a total of 22 children depicted. And um, some of these children are from the Concordia School, and others um, are part of the Good Shepherd Lutheran home. That's correct. Um, and so the next step for me is to paint the a blue layer, kind of like a very light glaze, to seal the drawing, and then to add in um, the details of the faces, to add some of the background, some of the local mountains and vegetation that are here in Latin America, and some bright, colorful, joyful flowers in the foreground. So Cheryl, um, who is this painting dedicated to? This painting is dedicated to the memory of a woman named Edith DeCheca, who was a member at our LCMS congregation in, in, uh, at Trinity Lutheran Church in Scarsdale, New York. And uh, Edith evidently had a great love of art and religious art, and the people in the Mary Martha ladies circle there at, the, at Trinity felt that this would be a very fitting project to collaborate with, with the Mercy Center, and so they have underwritten uh, the production of the painting. Yes, and I'm very thankful, because I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. So, um, let's see. So, Cheryl, you've been part of this process. Do you have any um, thoughts about this journey that we've started that you would like to share? Well, it's certainly been exciting. I've enjoyed getting into the artist's procedure and mm -hmm. hearing your thoughts about I think one of the most exciting things for me is that the people that are in the in the painting are actually real models from the Dominican Republic and uh, although I love it that these are children from our school and from our group home we have at least four disabled uh, children here for example and that they are obviously part of the body of Christ one of my favorite pieces is Jesus, because Jesus is, uh, the model that you chose for Jesus is someone that we have been witnessing to for a while. He works at the hardware store in the village of Palma Arriba, and he was delighted to agree to be the model for Jesus, and uh, he has been to our church already. His name is Odalis and, uh, in Palma, and we're hoping that maybe this will encourage him as well to to come to right. uh, the same building that the painting is, it is hanging in that we served as a model. Right, that makes a really beautiful story. And there's all these special little moments that you capture and you see in their faces. And um, each of them, we know, I don't know any of these people personally very well, 
But um, we know that they all have, um, they're all people that once again Christ died for, and they all have their own stories and their own journeys. But the fact of it is that Jesus is um, who unites us and brings us all together. So um, God's blessings on the rest of the day, and I will continue to keep you updated as this painting uh, progresses. So instead of doing the typical goodbye, we're going to say adios and see you soon. Adios. I know that many of you know that I had the chance to travel to the Dominican Republic earlier this year and while I was out there um, I made a painting and here is what it looked like and here it is again um, and I wanted to share with you um, these prints are finally available in a large size and in a small size and they're available on my website um, on newsdayarts.com um, but the beautiful thing about these prints is that um, we have it set up with the missionaries out in Latin America that if you uh, purchase a print, we will send a print to the mission field um, for a missionary or for a facility or for a church. So um, I'm just encouraging you to um, do this. Don't forget to check out my website, anistayarts.com. All right, have a good one. Bye.